Charming the Hearts of Men, a new film that is limited in theaters right now, and a film that really not a lot of people seem to know about. Find out my thoughts on it next. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is for Views with Ryan. Today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Charming the Hearts of Men. This film is directed by S.E.D. Rose and stars Kelsey Grammer, Sean Askin, and Anna Farrell. The film takes place in the 60s and stars Grace as this young woman who returns to her hometown. Her father has just passed away. She's attending a funeral and she's kind of looking at her options and during this time there's a lot of discrimination there's a lot of sexism with women and also there is also racism with african americans and that is how this story unfolds the acting is very good in this the costumes and scenery is very good it's very easy for the viewer to feel like they're a part of the 60s however with this film there is a little bit of lack of drama i felt that even though the message is positive for this time period, there should have been a little bit more drama. There's a lot of different things that happened during the 60s, and I'm sure a lot of people, women and African Americans, were treated poorly. And I felt like the film didn't depict that as much. It tried to put a more positive spin aspect on it. And while that's cool and everything, I just wish that they should have shown a little bit more drama. Also, there's a really good supporting cast in this. However, they don't get as much screen time as they should, but they do a good job when they are on screen. There is some romance in this film. You have Grace who is divorced and she pretty much is trying to look for a rich man as she's kind of in a particular situation throughout the film. There is a little bit of drama here and there. There's a little bit of romance here and there. But the film definitely is shot pretty well. I felt that the acting was really good here, surprisingly. And this film is on VOD right now and limited in theaters. I feel like no one really is talking about it. However, I feel like this is a pretty good educational type film. For people that may not know back what happened in those times, I feel like not every American would maybe know all about this information and how women are treated. I feel like now women are treated so much differently back then. It's very interesting to see what makeup of that and really it was really interesting to see what women did back then to kind of grasp on their situation. I just really can't imagine being a woman back then and just having such bad situation you're in and just really just trying to hold on to anything that you can to just survive. It just seemed like it was such a harsh reality and that really depicted that kind of reality in this film. I will say with the African American movement, there's a little bit less kind of shown. It focuses more on the sexism of women. Uh, there's a little bit here and there, but I don't feel like they dive into it as much. However, they are involved and interconnected with the sexism of women as well. So it's got a little interesting thing here and there. I feel like they could did a little bit better job of tying it all together and showing and depicting a little bit more of the African-American side. I would advise to check out this movie, especially for educational purposes. You know, educate yourself about the past and the history of our country. Definitely check out something a little bit different than maybe you might want to check out. Not everybody would like this kind of film. And I just really think that people should check it out just for the educational purposes. For me, I would give it another watch. I don't think it's a movie I'd buy, but it's definitely a movie where I appreciate what the director was trying to do. And I just, I enjoyed it for what it was. I'm gonna give the film a three and a half out of five. I think it does a pretty good job here. There's a little bit of negatives here and there that I would that wish that the film would have polished up a little bit more. But overall, I like the film. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts if you do see this film. I have not seen really any reviews for this film. It would be really cool if some other people checked out this film. I feel like it is worth your time to at least check out the film and see what it offers. And just maybe go out of your comfort zone if it's not something you want to watch. You know, broaden your horizon. Thank you guys for watching this review. I'll see you guys on my next one.